It is July 14th and it's absolutely just a beautiful morning here at the River Garden and it is around 9.45 a.m. and it's about 70 degrees so it's nice and breezy. So I'll just walk you through here and show you what's growing. I am in zone 6B. It's a little bit cooler today than it has been last week. We've had a lot of rain recently and it was we needed it so bad. Um, I had not been here and I had a lot of things kind of dry up. You can see there's kind of some dry patches here in the grass and that's just from a week of no rain and about 90 degree temperatures so uh, but we got a lot of rain the past two days and everything's looking great everything just kind of took off so I'll just show you what's growing um, I pulled out some potatoes here as you may have remember from my last um, river garden tour and now I have put in some cucumbers I might have to thin those out a little bit but uh, they look like they're doing real well and um, over here, I have the Thessaloniki tomato plant, and there are several on there, if you can see them down in there, um, and they are doing great, but they are not red yet, so maybe my next trip out here, I can pick a red tomato, that would be wonderful. I'm already picking some red ones at my other garden. So, you know, um, just a reminder too to my new subscribers, this is not a place I live, so I just come out here and kind of see what's growing and I feed things and water them while I'm out here but it's usually just one time a month um, this July I'm out here two times this month so this will be great um, this is a little hot pepper plant no uh, peppers on there yet but I see a couple of blooms which is great and then I'm um, over here our tomatillos, there's three of them, and I'm actually getting some tomatillos this year. Last year I just grew one plant, you know, if you grow tomatillos you need to grow a couple so they can cross pollinate. So there's actually some fruit down in here. Um, the little husk is forming on the outsides of them and inside is little tiny fruit. And this is a little zinnia, it looks like it's finally popping into bloom. It wasn't blooming yesterday, but this morning it is, so that's nice. In just a minute, I'm going to get over here and harvest these little French gold fillet beans. They're looking, they're looking really pretty. I'm just going to steam those very, very lightly and drizzle them with probably a little bit of butter and maybe some dill pollen or something like that, and a little bit of salt. Through here, we have uh, the sorrel. I haven't even used that yet, <laughs> but it's looking really healthy. So maybe I'll take some of that with me today. This is another Thessaloniki plant, and it is probably double the size of the one I just showed you. Um, as I mentioned, too, that I'm just letting these kind of grow on their own. So the branches have toppled over the little cage here, and um, I'm just going to let them stay that way. That branch might um, break off. I'm not sure, but if it does, that's okay. I'm just letting it grow naturally. It's stretching out here also into the pathway it's pretty loaded down with tomatoes so i like to see that there's some there some more down there and i've already as i mentioned been picking some red tomatoes at my home garden so they are really good I'm just loving them back here i have peppers and there's a real big one right down there and i think that one is uh, i forgot the name of it but i think it's supposed to turn yellow so we'll see i've got some more blo um, blooms coming out on it this one i think is a habanero i took all the peppers off of here last time i was here and now there's a lot more on there again <laughs> so i'll just leave these on here maybe they'll turn a color for me and i'll have a better idea what they are i guess you can tell at this point i didn't put my markers out on any of these pepper plants but there's just four so i just let them grow the way they, however they want to and one a little bell pepper there and let's see if I have any under here yet I haven't looked over here doesn't look like I have any peppers over here yet the sunflowers are just getting bigger and bigger I did take out a couple because they really really will shade a garden really quick <laughs> and then down here I have a lot of little tiny strawberries and their runners are just stretching out everywhere I have some dill coming up. I just spread out a lot of dill seeds over here because I really like how dill will reseed itself in the garden. And then there's the French tarragon. Looks like it's doing pretty well. Glad to see that because 
it was just a tiny little sprig when I put it over here. And then over here I'm going to plant some more strawberry plants, a different variety, something that's sweeter. If you have any suggestions for a good strawberry plant, leave them in the comments section. I'm in the market for some good strawberries. So this is just a little herb area of the garden and last on my last tour I had a huge Chinese cabbage over here and I just picked that um, a couple days ago and making salads with it and I'll show you a really good recipe for a salad I like to make once a year and this is a lemon thyme now it's got a little bit more room to spread out a little bit more sun and it's just beautiful I love the little variegated leaves of lemon thyme and then I took out a borage plant that was right here too to give the thyme a little bit more room and this one's just bursting into bloom it's really pretty um, if it shades starts to shade too much in this little area I'll pull it out because it's getting really big because I have another one right there and then garlic chives looking pretty good garden sage right there in the middle and this is Mexican tarragon it's got some pretty little yellow flowers on there um, and this is the Greek oregano. I've cut that back and I dried a lot of Greek oregano, but as you can see, it's doing really well now. I may be able to dry some more this fall. And then that's the um, Italian uh, oregano. I think, I think it's also called marjoram. I need to look that up, but don't uh, quote me on that one. But you know, it has a com completely different flavor to me than the Greek oregano. I prefer Greek oregano. And then we have calendula. Last time, my last tour, I don't think I had any uh, blooms on here yet. But as you can see now, it's just burst into bloom. It's just beautiful. Adds a lot of punch of color to the garden. And then, I won't go back over there, but that's just the asparagus bed there in the middle. And I'm just kind of letting um, it just grow. And then I'll cut it back late this fall. Let the um, fronds kind of turn to a yellow gold color and then I'll cut them back late this fall. So you see my two sunflowers there. I might end up taking out the one here on the left. That kind of surprised me. All of a sudden it just kind of was there. So they grow fast. Um, so I might take that one out again because of the shade. And then over here just some little blueberry plants and then I put in um, some carrot seeds. I don't know that those are going to germinate because this sandy soil gets so hot. And like I said, it was 90 degrees last week for about a week. And you know how sand gets. It gets so, so hot. Like if you go to a beach and you try to walk on the sand and it's so hot. Well, that's kind of how the soil is. So it may have just killed the seed. I don't know. But we'll see if it comes up. I don't know. And then this over here is a lemon cream calendula. Not um, blooming yet. And then it had reseeded. And it's right next to this little um, blueberry plant. So we'll see how it does. And then over here is just some dill. I kind of had to push it back into uh, the garden. It was laying out here on the um, in the yard. And then that's another Thessaloniki tomato plant. I took out a sunflower, and so it could give it a little bit more sun. It's responding well. It's not quite as leggy. It looks like it's not stretching out quite so much for sun now. And then the white swan echinacea, and a little lion zinnia plant. And over here I planted some long beans that were given to me by a viewer. So I guess I planted those out uh, a couple weeks ago. And they're just starting to come up. And then these are greasy beans. And I made a big pot of beans just the other day. And I also used some potatoes in there that I had uh, from this garden. Um, I had harvested them about, I guess, four weeks ago. So that was nice. A big pot of greasy green beans with some potatoes and bacon, pepper and salt. Just really simple. Kind of how I remember eating beans when I was little. <laughs> and this is a Romanesco broccoli. It is huge. Um, the last time I was out here, I sprayed it with BT. And I think it's helped the, worm, the worms. You see how much better the leaves at the top look than down here towards the bottom. So that's when I really wasn't visiting the garden very much. I wasn't able to spray with the BT, but it's looking pretty good up here. So um, that's great. And this is something called a kale it. My first year growing it, it's supposed to be a cross between a kale and Brussels sprouts. So it's pretty, and um, I think I'm supposed to get some little 
um, little Brussels sprouts growing up through there but you know if it's it might be fall I don't know I thought this is supposed to be mostly a cool season plant but seems to be surviving well here so that is the garden and I walk out here to show you guys the river real quick um, it was very exciting um, July 4th that's when we were out here last um, my son caught a big rainbow trout right out of the river I was so excited I was probably more excited than he was <laughs> it was like a pound and a half and that's pretty good size for a rainbow trout and then right down there is a deep swimming hole and that's where he caught that fish down there um, by the big rock it's, I think it's about five feet deep over there so that was nice he caught stands up on that rock and caught himself a rainbow trout Oh, here. Jay caught this one. This is one that I caught. Jay caught it. <laughs> Good that job, Jaden. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a beautiful day.